Peace and blessings, everyone. We're on this channel. We talk about all new construction homes in Austin, Texas. Today, we are going to be looking at the milestone builders in the Messenger Village community. It is 66 degrees outside. Me and the builder, Jeremiah Lewis, were already talking about how great it feels outside. This community is located in the Shadow Creek neighborhood in Austin, Texas. That's gonna put you about five to six minutes away from I-35 and 20 minutes away from downtown. That's with including traffic. So I want you guys to take a look at y'all's future community in the Messenger Village. It is called Messenger Village in South Austin, Texas. The house we are gonna be looking at today is right below five hundred thousand dollars it is four hundred nine hundred my fault four hundred and ninety nine thousand dollars and nine hundred and ninety nine so as we saw from the exterior we had ourselves brick and siding and as soon as we walk in we are greeted with vinyl flooring and this first floor has nothing on upstairs. I thought the first floor was supposed to always be better than the second story, but these builders decided to do a little twist to it. As we walk in, we see the open concept and in the island kitchen with white cabinetry, quartz countertops, and my favorite, a gourmet kitchen with the microwave. And under it, we got ourselves the oven. So imagine you, your spouse, cooking and getting a nice natural light every morning while cooking some good breakfast. I'm gonna flip it around for you guys real quick so you guys can get a true view of what this house looks like. Hold it right here. So just imagine the Super Bowl coming up this weekend, February. You guys got about 20, 30 friends. You can remove the staging that's right there, the couches and the table. And you guys could have yourself a pretty big party around here. Let me know your thoughts. So the primary suite will have carpet for the flooring and the paint is just a little bit different. It is not gonna be egg shell white paint like the rest of the house. It's gonna be a little bit more dim gray. And with this bedroom, you get six to seven foot open windows that I'm gonna flip it around to you guys real quick. Imagine waking up every morning and getting a fresh sun rays right on you just to start the day. So the great thing about this community also is they are offering, what's up guys? They are offering a 3.875 interest rate, a two one buy down. So if you guys are interested in that, or if you guys have any questions about what that is, please reach out to me so I can explain it to you. We got a glass standstill shower. The toilet is secluded in the back, so which would be nice if you and your partner are in the restroom at the same time, you would not have to necessarily really know. Also a great feature of this house is the walk-in closet. I'm gonna walk all the way here. I'm gonna flip it around for you guys. Look at how much space this is. His and hers size right there. Let's give you guys a better look at the home. So this house is a four bed, three and a half bath with a primary junior suite on the second floor. 
And if you guys are a little confused on what a primary junior suite is, I'm gonna show you guys just in a second. I was unfamiliar with that term as well. We walk upstairs, we notice the black railing. Carpet for the stairs. And we will continue the carpet all the way to the second floor. Look at this. This game room. Or is this the game room? Did you guys how wide and open spread this house really is? This is a better look of the game room slash really first floor. I think this first floor is better than the actual first floor down below. So you guys let me know. Sorry about that. Walk in, we got washer and dryer will be on the second floor, which could be a hassle, but there's only one bedroom on the first floor, so it shouldn't be that much of an issue. Only one person will get screwed. We got ourselves a closet to put all the necessities and things that we can't store in our own room in here. With the holidays coming up, this would be a great additional space for holidays, decorations, and whatever. This is the primary junior suite I was talking about before. It looks like we're basically downstairs, but we're upstairs. And this primary suite, I feel like the room is bigger, but the bathroom is definitely downgraded compared to downstairs. We will have a his and hers sink. Of course, countertops will still have the standstill glass shower right there, but what we won't have is that walk-in closet that I was talking about earlier. We'll still have the secluded toilet. Or will we have a walk-in closet? Yeah, nah. Still not even remotely as close as the one down below. This house is just a little under 3,000 square feet. Please let me know comments, questions, concerns you guys may have. So we go into the bathroom right across. We have ourselves the white quartz tops, white chemistry at the bottom, and we're gonna have ourselves white tile flooring. Now this is my favorite spot of the house because a businessman myself, I like to know that there's an office somewhere I can seclude myself from others and work primarily on business. So for my entrepreneurs or people that work at home, envision yourselves in this room taking advantage of the day. You get a nice hit of the sun every single day. My camera wouldn't even focus in because the sun was so bright. And this will be the last room so if you guys got any children, extra family members, or people that are outside the intermediate family, this would be a perfect spot. It is in the back of the house. Nobody can mess with them, and it's actually fairly huge. Every single room, bedroom, is very spacious. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, please reach out and call my phone number. I will have it pinned in the comments below. Peace, blessings, and Godspeed to everybody. See you in the next video.